Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Quarantined with the Edge. Even though, like, most people really aren't quarantined anymore. Let's face it, everybody's out. They're not wearing masks. They're trying to get sick and keep this epi this pandemic going. But uh, I'm quarantined here. I'm still not at the, uh, the library anymore. So I'm in my kitchen again. It is Monday, which means that it is Steam Monday time. And it's also gassy Monday. I may have given myself uh, food poisoning with, with my with my lunch. I'm not feeling too good. So hopefully nothing will uh, happen when I make this video. Not that it really matters because nobody really watches these things anyways. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to make a cube again. Another cube. If you remember last week we made these cute, cool like spiraling cubes. So today we're going to make a cube that actually holds weight. Like considerable amount of weight. Like... You can b balance your textbook on a tiny little cube amount of weight. It's really, really cool project. So you're gonna need a lot of supplies for this. Uh, to start off, you're gonna need paper, um, and that about does it. So you need paper. You're gonna need um, three to six pages. Um, I used um, three pages. I, I folded, cut in half, and then I did the um, you know the diagonal fold that I was doing last week, so I can get six small pieces of paper. A to not waste a lot of paper, but also because um, this project is really good with the small. Like the smaller, it actually is actually kind of cooler and a little bit better. Um, the other thing is you really do want to use um, printer paper for this. You really don't want to use origami paper or even construction paper is a little iffy. Printer paper is actually really good for this project. Also, you, you should try to get like different colors. I don't have different colors. I have white because this is hashtag not the HWPPL. It's my kitchen and I have white printer paper here because I don't need color printer paper. So I have only have white. It's really cool if you can use colors though because it makes it really pretty but we can, oh, excuse me, hold on. <clears throat> we can make it look pretty afterwards. So to start off you're going to get your cubes like this. You're going to fold it in half. Boom. In half. Now you're going to take these, let me uh, switch this around a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing here. See, book display things are really, really great. All right, so now you're going to fold your ends into the center like so. One. And you want a really good crease with this as well. And then the same one into the center. All right. And again, a really nice, nice crease. Then you are going to flip it over. And you're now going to take the left side down here and you're gonna fold it along. So yeah, so just to show you, we have this, but we're using this side, the, 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 the papers folded into the bottom side. So we're gonna take the left side here and we're gonna fold it making a little point on the bottom right corner here, like so, and a nice, nice crease. Just be a little bit careful because there's like a little bit of a, uh, like the the very tip. Of, I know it's hard to tell because it's like white paper. You're like Eric, why are you using the white paper on a, on a white tabletop? We can't see anything. I know it's like no wonder nobody watches this. Nobody can follow along. I should just give the link that I found these things on to you and just make them when you want to. So you want to do something like that. Just be careful because this is like a little bit loose here so it might not fold. So make sure that you get that folded right. And then you're just going to do the same thing with the top side. Just bring the, the top side down. Oops, wrong way. Sorry. Okay, so this is the, this side. You're actually going to make it opposite. So I folded this way. So now I'm going to fold this way. So that you should get something, oh, let me just turn this to the side here. So the idea is that you're going to get something that looks like, this right here, that's what you want it to look like, okay? But leave it so that it's points are, one point is away from you, the other point is down. We're going to need to uh, make sure that you get this done right. Okay, so now you're going to take your top point here and you're going to fold it over to here. Like so. And then you're going to do the same thing with the bottom. You're going to take the bottom point here. So I did this. This is my, my top point. I folded down. My bottom point I'm now going to fold, oops, like this. So top. 
top went to here, bottom's going to go to here, and I'm going to get a cool little cube, right? Nice little cube with little things sticking out. So that's like the meat of the project right there, is you need six of these. I have made six of these because I thought ahead um, and planned well. So uh, you can just uh, uh, rewind and uh, watch over again the instructions on how to make these. Um, I'll just sit here and give you a couple minutes, okay? <clears throat> yeah, really do try to find uh, colorful paper to do this though. You really do want uh, some nice colorful paper. It'll make a big difference. All right, well, I'm gonna keep moving on because this is boring. All right, so next we're going to put these together into a cube. So we're gonna take them, so you're gonna take one of your little uh, points, and if you look on the back side of another cube, it's like a little opening, and you're just gonna slip that in right like that so that these go together. I know if I had colorful paper, this would look a lot different and it would make more sense. Um, and then you're just gonna like kind of keep doing that all the way around. Um, you know, take another one, take the points, put it into there. Now, once you have two though, you're gonna have to make sure that you get, you know, that as well, cause you're gonna have lots of little points here. You're gonna have like a lot of these, aren't we? I, uh, I did not put this together yet. So this is just, um, just kind of seeing where this is gonna go right now. Uh, let's see, so we can try like this, yeah, like this. Let's see, there should be something going into, hmm, it's gotta be like a better way to do this. There really should be a slightly better way to do this. All right, let me try it this way. Let's see if I go this way. Yeah, this isn't confusing at all. This is like super intuitive. Um, well, let's do the same with this side then, right? So I'm gonna put one like, oh, well, this one could probably go in here. This one can go in here. And then there's gotta be another one to go somewhere. Right, yeah, right there. I see it. Oh, okay, look at that. I got five of them together now. Although I'm pretty sure there's a more intuitive way of explaining this, but whatever. So now the last one, I'm just gonna find where this one goes. I guess it'll go into like here. And maybe into... Different color paper would probably make this a lot easier for on me. That goes there. All right, I think I did it. I think I did it. I may be a genius. Ah, uh, ta-da, all right. There it is. Looks just like a cube. I should have grabbed something heavy before. Uh, let me see what I can find, hold on. So 
them out. Let's see how this works. Here's my cube. Here is a pot. Let's see. Oops, this isn't going to be weighted very well. Whoa, held this guy up. Let's see if it'll hold a heavier one. Oop, it's, it's buckling. I think it's buckling. Nope, I got it. Look at that. An even heavier one. I should fill these with water. Let me see if I can get a bigger one. I don't have any textbooks. If I had a textbook, I would use that, but, all right, let's see. What, look at that. Okay, breaking the phone, breaking the phone. All right, there you go. So really cool, you have a cube now that can hold weight. Uh, so why don't you see how much weight your cubes can hold? Get a bunch of books out, see what it holds up. All right, uh, we'll see you on Wednesday for some witchcraft. Take care.